For a very long time now, KDE Plasma 5 has been very reliable on FreeBSD. In this video, we're going to show you how we can upgrade Plasma 5 into Plasma 6. Well, here we are. So, the first things we need to do is we need to make a snapshot of our current working system. Just in case something goes wrong, which invariably these things tend to do. So, we do as BDEM create KDE upgrade. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm just going to call it that so I know to roll it back to. And uh, these boot snapshot environment uh, tools are extremely useful. And I always suggest that you make a backup like we see at the bottom there when you make a, a major upgrade for your system, just in case something goes wrong. So now that that's done, we need to have a look at the version that we're currently on. And I love KDE. KDE and Motive Window Manager are my two favorite environments. Uh, if I need something fuller, I always go for KDE. If something slimmer, I always go for Motive Window Manager. And this version is 5.27.11. With QT 5.1515. So, you know, it would be nice to have a little bit of a newer system. So, the first things after making a boot environment we do is we just make, pull down the latest package list. So, P, do as PKG update. And once that's done, we do as PKG upgrade. I've not done that on this particular occasion because I've already done it before I started shooting the video. But, you know, you can do that or you don't have to do that. It's entirely true. It's just to make, it's nice to make sure you get the latest uh, packages. So we'll just clear that. And we can do as PKG search Plasma to make sure everything is there. And there's a lot of stuff there. This is Plasma 6, uh, Plasma 5. But, of course, we've got Plasma 5 already loaded in, so we need Plasma 6. So there should be a meta package down there. There it is. It's plasma6 hyphen plasma hyphen six. And it's a KDE6 plasma meta part. So that should hopefully bring in everything we need. I don't think there's anything else we need, is there? Uh, I think there is, but we'll we'll do that later. So do as PKG install plasma6 hyphen plasma. And password and it will pull in everything we need after it's updated itself of course there we go uh, a couple packages to be removed at this stage uh, 88 installed so there's the ones that we're going to be installed so that's not too bad so we'll just uh, say yes here and I'll fast forward to the end Right, so we get the next part, uh, 223 removed, 88 to be installed, and 5 reinstalled. So, uh, we'll go yes. The removed ones will no doubt be the KDE5 packages. So again, we'll let it do its thing and we'll just fast forward. And that looks like it. But sometimes you're going to get an error, and in this case, it's error... Uh, the KF6 uh, Q GUI add-ons uh, conflicts with KF5 K GUI add-ons installed fine in the same place. So to get around this, because, and because if you don't, you're not going to get any further than this, we just need to install a little bit of extra packages. So that's do as PKG install KDE6 hyphen devel. So we'll get the development packages. And that looks all right. And we'll just press Y for yes, and we'll fast forward to the end again. There's a lot of fast forwarding in this video. Right, okay. So now we're on to the next stage, where there's 47 to be removed, and uh, was that 103? 183 to be added. And the packages that are going to be installed are some more KF6 things, and KF5 to be removed. So, okay, so we'll press e, uh, Y for yes. And again, fast forward. So the next bit is we need to basically just really make sure everything that's related to Plasma 6 is installed and up and running, etc. So there's only 
10 packages to be installed in this particular way, so uh, I won't bother fast forward because it's uh, over before I got going. And do as PKG install, and then the same glob command with KDE6. I don't think anything's going to be pulled down because I think we've already installed everything we need on this point. But you can issue it, you know, just in case. You know, already install it. And then PKG install glob again, KF6 hyphen asterisk. And it's one package, which is very good. So let's just make sure there's no loose ends. You didn't see it, but I closed everything down and restarted into the new desktop. It looks the same. You're thinking, crikey, he's done nothing, but we'll see. But first, if every now and then you, you get to this problem where the menus are blank. And sometimes I, I get this on KDE if I've been updating it, etc., one of the solutions which I found along the way over the many years is kbuild syc oca, so it's Psy Coco 5. You could put 5 if you're using K KDE 5 or kbuild Psy Coco 6 if you're using KDE 6. Each one of them works, so it's no big deal. And that will rebuild your menu. So that's just a little uh, little tip there. So, uh, diddly -diddly -diddly. right then. So looking at, let's go down to the system and uh, the uh, system settings, isn't it? Yeah. And we should have an about section down at the bottom. There we are. And now it says KDE 6.12 or 6.1.2 and KDE framework 6.3.0 and QT 6.7.3. It's not the latest, latest of course. Um, I think we're up to about KDE 6.2 odd now. But you know, not too bad for uh, FreeBSD at the moment. So yeah. Um, one problem I did find is that of course, you can get rid of a lot of the KDE stuff from 5. You're getting rid of uh, some packages which I use. It's Caden Live. And because we're on KDE 6, and it's and Kden Live is a KDE 5 package, what you'll tend to find, as you can see, is when you want to install a KDE, sorry, Kden Live, a lot of KDE 5 stuff wants to be reinstalled, which will then uninstall KDE 6. So, um, yeah. So for me, the KDE seems to work, and it seems to work fine, remove some old packages which aren't quite ready yet for KDE 6. So for me, it's a non-starter. If you didn't use Kden Live, then I would imagine any of the video editing packages or any of the things would be quite fine. So, as a matter of it working or not, it does work, but it removes some things. So, not quite up there yet. Not quite ready yet, I don't suppose. Not for me, anyway. But for you, again... It's a different story. So what I do uh, in situations like this, I just go into uh, BDAM, activate the saved uh, boot environment of the working system, which means that next time we boot into the system, it will choose that and everything will be back to as it was before we made the changes. Isn't that wonderful? Brilliant. If this video was any use to you, then please consider subscribing or giving it a thumbs up at the very least or doing both and sharing if you want as well. It really helps the channel and it gets the name around. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Oh, yeah.